TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy, February 2024 edition, with your hosts, Pablo Gunner and The Ambassador. And we are here to talk nerdy to you. We're going to go into Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I've already covered it, so now I want to hear what The Ambassador has to say about it. Let's move into Mr. and Mrs. Smith on Amazon Prime. What was that, like 10 episodes? I want to say it was 10 episodes. Or was it 8? Yeah, so it, it's uh, Donald Glover, Maya Erskine. I had to look up Maya Erskine because I was like, what is she from? She's from that show Pen15 where she plays like a young, like her high school t teenage girl. And her and her best friend are like goofs and idiots. Like Based off that, I was like, I don't know if she can pull this off. Of the two actors, I feel like she pulled it off better than Donald Glover. Like, the whole spy stuff. Donald Glover had stuff working against him. Because, uh... Brad Pitt? <laughs> to live up to Brad Pitt? <laughs> no, not even that. <laughs> What's the difference between them and Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt's a jacked? Well, Brad Pitt... What, what did he have to focus on in that show? I, I don't... He, he had to focus on his acting. Yeah. Donald... Glover was involved in multiple assets right. of the he show. Right, he was writer, so, director, producer. So when you have more power, actor, it's harder to hold yourself accountable, even for a director, because a director is going to be more lenient to someone who can fire them. Right. And so it puts this imbalance there. Sometimes it gets in the way, sometimes it doesn't. Right. That's a possibility that could have happened with this show is the fact that they were afraid to criticize him or there wasn't enough people to really objectively go, hey, maybe you need to deliver it this way. Yeah. Well, I, and With I think... With her, all that's there mm -hmm. because she's... only thing she does is just star in the show. Right. So the feedback is going to be better for her for her takes. Which is crazy because she's also a writer, right? Like, she was a co-creator in that Pen15 show. And I mind you, it's a comedy, but still, like, he mainly kind of does comedy, too. I think just because he's riding off the shoulders of uh, Atlanta that was, like, so popular and, and well-received that they're going, like, oh, he can do it, it's fine, you know? Yeah. Not that he was bad. I'm not saying he was bad. I just felt like... He didn't really feel... It, his, his performance felt more comedic most of the time than serious, and I felt like she was more serious, and yet the tone of the show was more serious. And I'm not necessarily saying that his comedy made it bad, but it just wasn't like... Sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't, right? Yeah. And it was weird doing the whole Mr. and Mrs. Smith thing because, like, up until, like, the last episode or the episode before that it wasn't really similar to the movie at all it felt like it was more of its own thing than and plus like the movie was like very different in concept right because it was the fact they were both spies and didn't know each other were spies until they got the mission to try to kill each other well this one they're actually a team working together and then assume that you could just I assume when they thought Donald Glover's character was being John was being being weaker that they just uh wanted her to kill him off right but they when they were asking oh do you want another partner if he's holding you back Trevor you are the weakest link goodbye yeah I mean because the show yeah it's like you said it, it is the concept of instead of Two spies that are working for opposite agencies find that are married find out that they're that they're both spies and then they have to kill each other. This is kind of the opposite, which is they are partnered together as spies to do missions together, and so they're partners. And then to keep this facade of being married up, I kind of wish there would have been at least a cameo by Brad or Angelina or both. They didn't have to be there at the same time, you know. It would have been cool just to have that, because they had that other couple that were like, oh, they're the couple that takes out other couples and stuff. And to me, like, it didn't even... There are certain missions where I'm like, this doesn't seem like a spy mission. This just seems like an action 
movie, yeah. right? It didn't seem like spy stuff. And, and that's why for me, I was like, this isn't really spy versus spy. And it's definitely not spies versus spies either. Even though they were doing some spy stuff, like the one that probably felt the most spy related to me was the Ron Perlman one. And that yeah. one felt the most spy related to me. And I liked that episode a lot. But like I said, most of, most of it was not that. And I, I liked the therapist one, but after a while, it got old. Because they just yeah. kept on redoing the same thing, but not, like, overdoing it or outdoing it. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to do it, like, once, okay, do it again. Like, you got to keep on outdoing it. And it, it wasn't really doing that. It didn't, that, like, I liked it at first, but then it got old. Yeah. And then that kind of went nowhere, too. Yeah. They hinted at that being, like, something that could screw them screw them in the future but then it didn't right like they burn the lady's house down or whatever yeah. which you don't even see it burn down it just they they caught it on fire and i was yeah. like they should have to take her out right like that's a whole messed up thing like now you got to take out your therapist or like whatever like i thought i thought they were going to leave a bomb and then it was going to blow up yeah right like that's what i thought and so it was a smaller version of what i thought it was and i was like okay, well, I guess we're not doing that again. You know what I mean? Like, at least, and it was just, that was watered down. Uh, I did like the finale. I thought it was really, really good. I liked it a lot. The whole truth serum thing, like, that was a great touch. And yeah. Now, Usman is a master at extracting information from the unwilling through psychoactive means. Oh, is that truth serum? There's no such thing as truth serum. That's just nonsense from TV. Well, what is it then? It's a little concoction that he's been perfecting since his days with the SIS. It makes you suggestible and highly responsive. Well, dude, that's true serum. No, it's not. Like that back and forth was really good that they have. I really want to watch this with my wife because I think we will enjoy it together. Did you watch it with, with your wife? No, I, I just watched it on my own. Okay. Uh, what about you? What do you think about that? I thought it was a solid series altogether. I do like how the ending just doesn't really tell you exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. It just says, shit went down. Yeah. <laughs> right, so they could continue it with the same couple. They could continue it with the older couple. Well, probably not. But Or they could com continue it with a different couple. They could kind of like Doctor Who it, right? Which is like, hey, let's have, do have different actors each season, you know? They could do that type of thing. So we'll see. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I haven't heard a lot of it or enough of it for it to be like, oh, yeah, we got picked up for a second season. I haven't heard that. But it's early. Uh, I liked it a lot. I ended up liking it a lot despite it. I'm not it definitely at its faults, as we've said. But I really enjoyed it myself, and I'm willing to rewatch it with my wife. I can't say, like, it's a strong must-see, but it is most definitely worth checking it out, like... Because it's not, it didn't deliver on what I thought it would deliver, which is spies, right? It's, yeah. There's a few episodes that feel really spy worthy, but for the most part, it's more action. So yeah, I just feel like if it was improved and tweaked, it could be its full potential. I, I'd be down for a second season and any of its uh, different possibilities. Yeah, it's definitely worth watching. And if you're hearing this, Amazon, if you're going to approve a Rings of Power for a second season, you might as well just approve everything. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to see a second season of Rings of Power, okay? Oh, where, <laughs> where not Gandalf ends up being... Where you saw not Gandalf okay, ends yeah, up being Gandalf. I'm not going to say that's that's that wasn't dumb, but the reveal of what's-his-name was really cool, and I'm interested to see, like, how oh, you all mean the bad Sauron? stuff. I want to see all Sauron? the bad stuff happen. So, well, anyways. When you go after a well-documented <laughs> era and just do... Just do everything completely different because you don't have the rights to. It's like, why didn't you just do what you had the rights to? Yeah. Hopefully, we'll, we'll talk about that in the future, I hope. Yeah. Because I would love to do some Lord of the Rings merch, dude. I'm, I've got it loaded and ready. Then, I want to talk about our merch. <gasps> My cabbages! You're going to pay for this! Two cabbages, please. Which is Avatar focused. I have the Airbender one because I've always felt like I have connected with Airbenders. I've been told that, like, oh, hey, you're a cool, chill, mellow, go with the flow kind of dude, which is also kind of water, but not exactly. So, and I'd totally rock some head tattoos and just like live in a temple, you know, and ride a, uh, a bison. But yeah, so I love this. 
Uh, it's actually Slay J designed this superb, and there's different versions. There's you can do white lettering or black lettering. This is the tank top version, and we have all kinds of different versions. There's ones with with like the, all the symbols on the sleeve. There's so it's there's top notch stuff, and it's so great. And I was I'm so impressed with the designs that Slay J came up with. It he really killed it. And uh, so definitely check it out because it's on sale now for this month, which we don't have much for, for the month of February. So I don't know if we should keep it going. I feel I, like well, maybe we should keep it going. I think we should extend it to the you next know? month. The because it's, it's such a big deal. Like, it's so good. I need More people need to see this show. Yeah. And, and even if you're not into the live action, you should still get it. Because pick whichever one because I know everybody has their different versions of which they are like yours but yeah fire nation how can you go wrong with fire nation the breath of life <laughs> he can't argue with the breath of life because that's uh if you watch the cartoon when they go find the origins of firebending because the fire nation has corrupted their way of doing firebending so they don't actually use the true uh origin of it they use anger. Mm -hmm. And, well, they're very angry people, so it's effective. <laughs> but Iroh doesn't use anger. He uses the real purpose of it, and that's why he's so powerful. Oh, he's so great. I love. Oh, I loved his parts in the show, like when he used yeah. his, his firebending. I was like, oh my god, Or, or the awesome. fact he developed, like, the whole blue lightning defect, deflection thing. He's like, yeah, I learned this. I've seen waterbenders do this similarly, but I apply it to firebending. You just go like this, and then you just let it flow through and go out. Yeah. Yeah, crazy, dude. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, my wife is definitely a firebender. I feel like I need to get her a firebender shirt because she is fire and fury, and she definitely uses her fire for... Not always. Not always for... For anger and hate, but I feel like uh, maybe in aggression, but most of the time. Sometimes it's for love, you know. Of the, of the children and the things she cares about, but yeah. And then I know that Slay J got... Did he get Earth? Or, no, he got water. Because he's like, he's all about the, the blood bending. He's, 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 he's like, yeah, I'm a blood bender. Like, that's what he is. Maybe it should be, like, tainted with some red or something, you know? Uh, yeah. But yeah, I so. mean, you know, subgenres, the blood bending's cool, but I mean... What about lava bending? Yeah, and, lava, uh, lava metal bending is sick. Yeah, metal is 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 metal. Yeah, it's it's hardcore for sure. I I do I love the ice. Like that's so cool. Like the ice because I'm like, especially like they use like and they can just freeze people in place and stuff. And like she uses like ice blades. Oh my gosh, Katara does like. There's so much stuff that's just like so cool about. Uh, water bending and then but I kind of feel like I, I've told my wife though like I do maybe she is more earth but I don't because earth is really cool too and like I said earth was done so much better I feel like in the this live action show than even I think the the animated because they made it make sense they, they improved it they made it better we'll, we'll see depends on how so, tough is yeah, we will see. We will see Toph. Because some of the characters, I'm like, I would not have gone with that person as, like, that person. But whatever. Like, some of them are better and some of them are not. Like, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, Zuko makes feelings. So, I, I like Zuko. He's pretty good. But, yeah, Sokka's, like, perfect. Um, yeah. I feel like a lot of them are, like, Aang, perfect. Iroh, perfect. Like, there's some where just, like, could not be more perfect. You're, like, crazy. So, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so that's, so make sure you check it out because it's on sale with free shipping. The, our merch of the month is, and anything that says talk nerdedly on it, that stuff is the cheapest. That stuff's usually like 15 bucks and full price is like 30 bucks. But yeah, we have, we have really great sales, uh, for our merch of the month stuff. So definitely check all that stuff out because we have Halo stuff on there as well for this month. Pretty much anything that you could check out this month that's related it's going to be on there. It's expect that. We're making merch for it. If it's nerdy, we're making merch for it. And that's what you have to expect for this month and for the February. And for any month, even for March, right? So, but speaking of people, we're doing it for you. Do it. They're, they do stuff for us. We work together. Are the people that we have been uh, networking with. So I, I have to give a shout out with them. Always at the top of that list has to be Atticus because he's the king. You know, he's the 
what is the Batman of La, La, um like how I, I want to say I'm probably saying it wrong definitely check out his stuff on YouTube that's his main focus that's what he focuses on he's very interactive he's very raw he's re shows you what life is like in Vietnam in a small town and everything he he goes to big towns too like yeah so you see it all and it's it's real legit stuff and there's also if you want to be an English teacher out there he gives you yeah, some tips one of his and stuff last like that. videos was like this is how I do laundry out here yeah so like just simple stuff to like it's it's great stuff I, I love his stuff it's so good also networkers or burn a Kenshin she has great stuff on YouTube really all of her content is is gold she does cosplay she's hardcore splatooner and anime uh, aficionado I feel like I can say phenomenal stuff on there definitely check her out uh, the superpower list check them out across the board where it's Facebook Twitter wherever they're at check them out they're really cool I love the stuff that they post they're pretty hardcore deep into comics nerds for sure and then we have Riot TV is really cool check them out they're one of ours uh, Randy uh, S0725 on on the tweets uh, they're really cool actually that's the same guy that does a superpower list so, yeah, that's theirs. Uh, Amerimay Media, they're super cool. They're really awesome. Check all their stuff out, too. Uh, Web Imagine Service does music. The Film Rage guys are so good. If, you, if you're hardcore into movies, they cover every single movie out there. Like, they rage about it because they, they, they're doing it for the people because they watch all the bad, everything. They'll watch it. Whether it's good or bad, they watch it. They go through the pain like we're going through the pain of Halo. You know, they do it for the people. So, yeah. and it's funny stuff. They're funny and they're cool. MK Jekyll and Hyde, they do like a web comic and stuff, but they have great content across the board on all their social media. So definitely check them out. And then Filmmakers Pod, Cinematic, Anarchy, Pesky Gremlins, uh, Gmart 8, Billy D's, Po Boy Pod, and Gone Cold Podcast. Those are also some other ones that are great to check out. So, yeah, check them out because they're awesome. And, uh, I think uh, I think that's it for this week or for this month actually for this yeah. month. So check out our stuff for for March, our our merch and all our content. Like I said, we're gonna be try to cover as much of the nerdy stuff as possible. So yeah, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Uh, they're worth watching and a blast. So stay nerdy, Planet Earth, and talk nerdy to me. <laughs> <laughs>